All right, class. So one thing I want to begin with is you should always, always wet your brush and squeeze water into all of your colors before you ever begin using them and let them sit uh, five to 10 minutes to get the richest colors you can. This is my travel watercolor set. And what I'm going to do now is pick up some of this black and just by mixing it with water, it becomes a beautiful shade of gray. And what I noticed in Latasha's photo is that it seems like on this side of the brick, there's a shadow. So I'm just going to kind of like put in the shadow. And you know, I am working on uh, copy paper, so it's not going to be as great as actual watercolor paper, but we will do our bestest. and we can fix where it went over. It's just, it's not gonna do great on the copy paper. Um, let me grab, bring you over here to my little, there's Milo <laughs> and Franklin. All right, so let's go ahead. And I'm gonna show you that demo here because I think it'll be easier to see. So with the gray four, the grout, you can do the lightest gray where you mix black with the color. And I'm going to say that the shadow's underneath. And then you can just make sure you keep working it while it's wet. I really think that's the ticket. Like you have to work quickly with watercolor. And then to achieve the texture of the grout, look how nice that is when you just pick up with the paper towel. Keep turning the paper towel so you're not using the part you used again, but it's really gonna give you that like gritty, gritty grout effect. So that is definitely how I would approach the grout around here. Copy paper makes it so difficult, but look at her beautiful work. All right, so our next step is you can use either like Prismacolor New Pastels. This is a set of 12, or you can use these 24 Soft Pastels. So any pastels really will work. But what I wanna show you is just, you know, right now the watercolor lines are really going horizontal. And so you can use the pastels to create more deeper value and to create depth. Look at just what that little tiny bit did. Um, it just adds so much texture and dimension. And you can use as little as you want, but I would not cover up all of that beautiful watercolor work. I would use this sparingly. Some of the brick had a little bit of gray so you can use a little bit of like the gray new pastel. There were some that had like a little bit of um, the deeper black. Let me go in here. But you really can build up the surface after you've done the legwork of watercolor. Look at how easily with just little pieces of pastel. Let's see. I would just use a couple of different shades. I'll show you exactly what shades I'm working on. Or working with. Maybe this one has like a little bit of darker brown. But I think that that will really help like just add a little more texture, a little bit of deeper value. Like this is so lovely here. Some of the striations that you see, you can go ahead and just use. This 
little bit of chalk. And that will help you build up the surface. And then when you have the kind of modeled um, grout around it, I think it will look super. My recommendation too is to go ahead, if you're having trouble, like when you're doing the grout, if you're going over the brick on accident, like how it bled here, you may wanna consider taping up the brick so that you can do the wet technique here. The other option would be just to use a gray new pastel. Wow, oh, I should have washed my fingers first. It's getting in the brick color. And then where there is even like a little bit of shadow, you can use a darker hue here. Find a figure I have not used. And that actually might be the easiest method as well. So these are the colors that I used for the brick. I used like a bright, almost pink, a terracotta, a dark brown, deepest brown, black, and then a gray. When you're done, you can use uh, this fixative for pastels that'll work beautifully.